fruity glimmer was the greatest peekaboo player the world had ever known. Trudy! Where, where's Trudy? I just saw her. She was just here. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, God. She was just here! Oh, my God! Trudy! Where'd you go? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Trudy, my baby! Where's my baby? 911? Someone stole my baby! Oh, God! Ah, someone stole my baby! Ah, oh, God! Oh God. oh God! Oh God! What's going on? Where's Trudy? What happened? Where is she? <laughs> you get that bastard that took her. If he heard a hair on her head, I swear, I'm gonna rip God's face off and, and ram it down his tip. I promise I will find your daughter, even if I have to kill her to do it. Police rounded up every pervert in the area, torturing them for information, which, naturally, the perverts loved. They undulated orgasmically for more. The cops were all too happy to oblige. Nipple twisting, purple nurples, blue nurples. Every nurple in the rainbow turned up a steaming pile of zilch. The trauma of losing their child tore the parents apart. Last year, I let your brothers sandwich my business. Yeah, that's, so did I, Chachi. So did I. Before long, a father finds a suitable outlet to properly deal with his grief. If I don't see my child again soon, I'm gonna do this. Some children are just naturally talented. We'll never know why. Peekaboo. Trudy! Oh, sweetie, where were you? Oh, my God, Trudy, don't ever disappear again. Trudy! 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 One way to keep the romance alive in marriage is to unite against a common enemy. Sam and Iris Biko found that a shared disappointment in their son, Benny, brought them closer together. So they vowed to stay ashamed of the kid for the sake of the marriage. They struggled valiantly to degrade and remain let down by him. Their love fed on his misery. And for every atom of agony they caused the boy, they were rewarded with 10 pounds of passion. The very face of his home seemed to stare with a chilling indifference to Benny. Or was it hitting on him? For their fifth anniversary, Sam gave his wife a special gift. Oh, Sam, you shouldn't have. In that moment, Benny realized his pain had something important to say, something vital to our nation. Mama! Our sores are sources of wisdom. Mama! Which won't be silenced by any man. Mama! Benny told the wound he was not technically its mother, but maternal instincts kick hard, and he found himself breastfeeding the little fellow. Payne's palate matures quickly. Baba want chili! Give me chili! Chili! It is often the neglected children who are most willing to go the extra mile for their own young. <laughs> Polly Dindin showed and told his class that if you hold a seashell to your ear, you can hear the roar of the very ocean itself. But some seashells work too well. Some children hear too much of what is happening on that <laughs> faded shore. Oh, just taking that salt air. The sunset is radiant today. Not as radiant as you, my love. Oh, Angus, <laughs> what if your wife finds out about us and your kid? Little Polly and his mother will never find out about us. How can you be sure? This is how. Angus, where did you get that gun? Put that down. I'm sorry, but I can't risk losing my wife. I don't mind losing Polly, but that's neither here nor there. What are you going to do? Nothing I haven't fantasized about a thousand times. Only usually it wasn't you, it was my kid, Polly. You did it, Angus. Your problems are over. 
<laughs> I mean, you still got a crap-ass son with crap all over his face. Well, I can't have everything. All right, let me just see if she's got any cash in her wallet here. Oh, great gum. Okay, ready? You can do this. Here we go. 911, what's your emergency? I was jogging on the beach and I found the body of a stranger who I've never seen before in my life. Is the person dead? Uh, she better be. I, I mean, she looks like she's been shot by a lover. Can you describe the victim? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, she's not the kind of woman that I would be attracted to, just not my type. Besides, I'm married. I got a kid, too, but that wouldn't be a deal breaker because he's such a chode. In fact, when I dropped my kid off at school today, he's whining at me like, Oh, I hope I don't embarrass myself and show and tell today. I seriously had to stop myself from blasting a snot rocket in his frickin' mouth just to see the tweaked out look on his stupid puss. This kid of yours sounds like a real piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you've met the boy. No, but I hope when he's in front of the class today, he wets his pants. Oh, yeah, lady? Well, I hope he solids his face. <laughs> <laughs> his classmates ought to call him Solid Face. Seriously, they should start doing that today. Anyway, I'm sending an emergency vehicle to you right away, oh, so... Body, it, it's not dead! She's got my gun! A gun! She must have found it. I don't, I don't have a gun. Please, honey, okay, just put that down. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, something terrible happened. This job sucks. Every call, tragedy after tragedy. Calm down, Cheryl. It's the only job you got. At least you're not an absolute turd like that kid's solid face. What a turd. Take it easy. Take the next call. I can't save them all.